Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here for today's video. We have a what if rebuild challenge, guys. We are going to assume for this video that LeBron James and Dwayne Wade, after this NBA season, are going to be taking their talents back to South Beach to rejoin the Miami Heat, guys. So, how this is going to work is for the first season, it's going to be a what if. We are going to just have them on the team, see how they do out there. Then, of course, we are going for the second season to do a uh, rebuild portion where, you know, we try to like build the team to the best of our abilities with LeBron James and Dwayne Wade. So for the starting line, guys, like I was saying, this is the 2018-2019 uh, NBA season. We still got to go around Dragic right here, um, who is on a one-year deal at this point, so he's 32. I don't know if I'll, if I'll like, bring him back after this season. We'll definitely see about that. I was kind of like deciding between if I wanted to start Deion Wade or Dwayne Wade. I feel like Dwayne Wade, in this case, man, how old is he at this point? He is uh, 36 years old, so to be like a sixth man or seventh man off the Miami Heat's bench, I think would probably be the way to go. Plus, it's not going to like ruffle the feathers of Deion Waders. Of course, we got LeBron James star with guys wearing that number six out there. Um, I put Kelly Olnick at the power forward position. He's got 83 three ball out there. So, will definitely be able to stretch the floor for LeBron James. And, of course, he got a bitch-ass contract. So, you can be playing, man. And then, as center would be the best center that LeBron James would ever play within the sound white side. You know, he did play like Big Z back in the day on the Cleveland Cavaliers. But, sound white side is definitely a different player compared to Big Z's more athletic. He's just, you know, kind of like operates around the rim. Love the potential of the pick and roll game between him and LeBron James. Um, off the bench, we got James Johnson, Dwayne Wade. We got Tyler Johnson, Justice Winslow, and Bam Adebayo. I'm just calling Bam out there to run the 10-man the, uh, rotation. Honestly, man, like this team got LeBron James and Dwayne Wade back. They would be so freaking good. Like they're already pretty, you know, pretty good out there. But they definitely need like that superstar, all-star caliber player besides the sound white side to really take them to the next level. So here we go, guys. I'm going to go ahead and simulate the season. We're going to see in this first season just how good the Miami Heat team can really do. So we are currently heading into the All-Star break, guys, with a record of 37-20, second place to the Boston Celtics. And going into the All-Star break, I actually have a little bit of NBA trivia for you guys, so check this out. The Miami Heat are the only team to win the dunk contest and three-point contest in the same All-Star weekend. Which year did this happen, and who were the players? In 1995, the dunk contest was won by Harold Miner, while the winner of the three-point contest was Glenn Rice. This trivia came from the sponsor of the video, Hardwood Amino, the fastest growing NBA community with trivia, polls, quizzes, and public chat. It's this really awesome app if you love the NBA. Lots of good conversation going on there. I recommend you guys check it out. The download link is in the description of this video. Okay, so the Eastern Conference is a very close race. A record of 50 and 31, guys. Currently third place. We got one more game here against the Pacers, who are in fourth place. Uh, the Washington Wizards are absolutely killing out there. And LeBron James, I mean, really just dropped 57 points on them. So I don't think he's afraid of the Wizards in the playoffs here. Similarly through date and, well, if it's an L anyway. Uh, Celtics finished first. We got Russell Westbrook getting MVP, of course. Marvin Bagley, the third rookie of the year on the Dallas Mavericks. I actually really like that fit for Marvin Bagley. I think him and Dennis Smith uh, could definitely be like a building piece for the post-Dirk Nowitzki era. We got uh, Will Barton, sixth man on the Bulls. And DeAndre Jordan getting defensive player of the year with the, the uh, Jonathan Murray of the Spurs. Of course, getting most improved. All right, All-NBA team. Uh, LeBron James, All-NBA first. All-NBA second. No heat there. All-NBA third. Nope. All right, well, it's all good, man. Here we go. Player stats on the season. We got... LeBron James, okay, so his scoring is actually way down this season at 21 points per game. Uh, still got about 9 rebounds and 8 assists out there. Played the good defense out there. But this team does have a ton of scoring options. We got Dragic averaging 17 points and 5 assists. Hassan Weiss with the 14, 12, and about 2 blocks out there. Deion Waiters balling out of the shooting guard position. And uh, James Johnson, how did he knock his 6th man of the year? Getting 12 points, 4 rebounds, and about 3 assists, and a steal, and a block per game. So yeah, man, Dwayne Wade, 9 points, which is solid, man. At, at this point in his career, you cannot really expect that much more from him. I definitely think he probably had his big moments out there, though. So here we go. We got the playoffs. First round, we have the Detroit Pistons. Similar current round. And, uh-oh. Uh oh, okay, man. So my Pistons just blew a 3-1 lead. Like, I was about to get, like, ragey if we were going to lose it at the same time. If my Pistons would have made it, I would not have been too mad about it. Here we go. Close out game looking like this. Uh, LeBron James, 30 and 10 assists. We got Sam Whiteside, 23 and 13, 20 for Dragic. And uh, Drum with 24 points. Yo, guys, Andre Drummond has been killing the freaking free throw game as of late. Like, come on, man. This dude been shooting, like, 85% on the season so far. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, oh, here we go. Washington Wizards, LeBron James, John Wall, Bradley Beal. Let's get it. Seems like a round. And the Miami Heat win four games to two. Close all game. 26-5 and 11 for LeBron. See, 19 for Dwayne Wade. Definitely going to have games like that. I mean, until he retires, man, like, Dwayne Wade's always going to be good to, like, you know, drop 20 to 30 points on any given night, man. Like, it could happen. Like, not going to happen often, but, 
he's just you know i mean it's not gonna like just lose that basketball skill boston celtics got them in a seven game series right there close out game like looking like that lebron james versus kyrie irving here we go bitch ass warriors simulate current rounds and well we lost to the bitch ass warriors guys four games three what else is freaking new man my god i mean at the same time i think that's yeah lebron did he ever lose to the warriors on the miami heat i don't remember that guys like who was who was the last finals team that lebron james played against on the miami heat was it was it the warriors i do not even remember oh well it's all good all right guys we do have the offseason now this is the rebuild portion where of course we're going to try to fix this team up get rid of the bitch ass contracts and just go from there man so let's uh go straight to rookie signings if we do have a draft pick it's not gonna be very good anyway but uh okay so we can't ah mech ac cannot get him he's got back issues well don't worry man so is lebron he carries the team on his back that's our issues okay rookie signing kevin greeny um six eight what is he a small forward can you shoot got that three ball <laughs> nope bye bye felicia okay uh team player option yeah we got sound weiss oh he wow so was uh, sound weiss had actually declined his player option Dragic declined his thankfully man i really did not want Dragic back all that much tyler johnson accepted his unfortunately although he might be a good bench player for us uh bam we definitely want to bring him back just in case sound weiss said just case we cannot get him back of course i'm going to go for him but i don't know how good that's going to go uh qualifying offers mcgruger 76 overall for two million i'll take him justice winslow uh joel baloney boy okay i'll take you and gary payton you can walk all right the moratorium period so where things get intense guys okay man so definitely need a center out here we got marcus Saul, who's a 91 overall currently that ring might go down a little bit i mean it definitely gives us a different dimension out there we got Hassan white side still he's only 30 um both you know Hassan white that's actually the better player obviously but hey man it's all good power forwards could always try to get chris bosh back but i'm not going to do that i'll probably just start Olenek. he was fine for us uh tobias harris he wants 30 million dollars like i could honestly put him at the power forward position and that'd be pretty decent out there jimmy buckets how could i make jimmy buckets on this team work i could put him at small forward put lebron james at power forward do we got bird rights on uh, uh oh where'd he go oh it's not what okay so we do have bird rights on Hassan white side okay so i'm gonna try to get jimmy buckets guys i don't know if oh maybe i'm not gonna try it time to get rid of some bitch ass contracts all right who's on the freaking list man uh james johnson 82 overall I might have to get rid of him, guys. Okay, first off, Tyler Johnson, you got to go, man. I'll take anything for you. I will, I will take anything. Dario Saric, it's actually a really good trade. That saves us a lot of money, and we get like a we get a good power forward back. So I'm just gonna do that right away, guys. Now we're gonna look at the other trades. Just a good offer, man. Like I said, all right. What else we got here? Um, I gotta do some more trades. I think I, think I saw Josh Richardson had like a ridiculously large contract. So yeah, yeah, we gotta get rid of that. Thirty-two million dollars. What can we get for him, Tyler Johnson? Get him right back. Uh, Lamar Peters, he was the 25th pick in the draft. We get Jared Vanderbilt, Maurice Harkless. Um, okay, so not seeing a... Let me just get the draft picks. Save that money, right, guys? That's all I care about. All right, moratorium. Can we afford Jimmy Buckets yet? Come on, Jimmy. Come play LeBron James, man. And Dwayne Wade? Okay, we are still far off from even being close to that goal. All right, who's next on the chopping block? Um... Yeah, James Johnson. I'm feeling like, yo, Dion Waiters, man. If we could actually get Jimmy Buckets on this, I, I, I want to keep Dion though. All right, let me see what I can get for James. Come on, 2K. Okay, I'll take the draft picks from the Chicago Bulls. Very nice. At least they got some sort of trade value. You know, we can use those later on in this rebuild for a trade. Okay, can we afford him yet? Come on, man. Come on, 2K. Oh my God, we are four million dollars away. So this is where we have to decide, man. It's like Daryl Sark is still only three million. Ugh, Olenek. I think I'm gonna get rid of him because if anything guys I can still go for a better power forward anyway so yeah let's see what we can get here hopefully just uh there we go once again take the draft picks stock up on those for trade value later and we should now be able to afford Jimmy Buckets if he wants to sign with us come on Jimmy come on man come on man you LeBron James and we can get sound white side back that would just be awesome I'm gonna give you a ton of money and he's only what he's only 20 I guess he's 29 okay definitely be like his last like max max contract right okay come on come on can we get him okay so i think we got to renounce rights there we gotta renounce some rights here guys can i get them oh my i think i ooh, i gotta renounce rights on a sound white side so this is where it comes down to it's like do i want jimmy buckets on this team for a sound white side i think i'm going to go the direction of jimmy buckets just to try things out definitely more of a guard oriented nba anyway and uh, i can get a guy that can get me rebounds and block some shots out there so i'm going to renounce rights there agree to jimmy buckets we got him so far so far so freaking good let's go ahead guys get to the actual free agency here and all right so we're here now uh so it's oh i think i can i still afford him see because it says i can afford him 
but it's not in the red it's like i don't know man i don't think it's gonna work but we're gonna see um Hassan white side game for the low low okay you cannot afford him um yo where's everybody else at nurkic he's too expensive zizich we get harry giles like i said man we still got some some uh oh jaleel okfor is a 77 overall i don't know man like so we still got some draft picks we can trade up to so let me see if i can try to get uh the man white side back first we'll go for that oh did i get him did i just get this on white side oh man we are freaking set man our team is looking nice dude this team is looking freaking extra crispy guys i'm absolutely loving this team already guys i might actually try yo Deion, where's that point guard would that work you think can we put him at power four he goes to a 93 although i might just put him back at a 99 because i don't think his rate would go down that much anyway 2k kind of cheeses like that so let's see you could put man how do we want to do this point guard he goes to an 80 overall it's actually not too bad Dwayne Wade goes to 79 so yeah we'll have Dion Waiters be our starting point guard of course LeBron James is going to be handling the ball the bulk of the time we still got Dion, uh, Dario Sarge who could be our starting uh power forward out there he is a 77 overall player we got I think we can sign some maybe some minimum guys here and we just got all those draft picks that we can trade for some more talent later on uh Dragic cannot afford him uh definitely want to get like a backup point guard though like TJ McConnell he would actually be pretty decent for us uh we still got Bam for backup center backup power forward we need to fix that let's go with a Michael Green 77 overall go with that small forward I think Winslow is gone isn't he like I don't think we actually got him back which is fine yeah he wants he wants too much money he's just gonna be a bench player anyway man like behind LeBron James don't really want that for him Sam Decker he's cheap so we'll go for that okay got him oh well okay got match never mind TJ McConnell to the Celtics and Michael Green to the Toronto Raptors all right guys so we're getting kind of screwed over right there but it's all good man it happens Adrian Payne too expensive um jared bailey he's 30 so he might be like a good backup point guard for now who else we get justin holiday we go for a willie reed 77 come on 2k okay we got jared bayless all right okay, guys i'm gonna go ahead man fix up the lineups and get to the beginning of the regular season okay so this is what our team is looking like so far right here although i'm still going to try to trade away some of those draft picks just see what we can get for them i might not get much but who knows man so let's go to trade finder and yeah just want to give them some draft picks right so we got this bulls top five protected uh, we got another Bulls lottery, and we got, let's do a top three protected of the Clippers here. See what it gets us, man. All three first-round draft picks. Hopefully, we get, like, maybe a better power forward. Actually, maybe I could, like, package these with Dario Sar to see if we can get, like a, like, a superstar power forward out there. So, I might do that. I mean, they're not, like, great trade value. It's not definitely not bad, though. Ooh, Al Horford. I might just do that and put him at the power forward position, you know, because he's got the 83 ball out there. Patrick Beverly, Seth Curry, John Collins, Dwight. Rudy Gobert, man. Who's my, who's my current center, isn't it? I got Sound Whiteside back, right? Yo, so I could get Rudy Gobert, put him at the center position, put Sound Whiteside at power forward. He's got a bit of a mid-range game, so we can like he can't like stretch it like crazy, but definitely do uh you know do some decent things out there. That might be the move, guys. Tobias Harris, Chris Bosch. Okay, man, we got some good trades. Yo, ah uh, man, which one do I want? Because this one we also get Joe Inglis back too, who will just be a good bench player for us. I have to do this, guys. I have to do this. All right, so we got that trade. So we're gonna do this now. We're going to put. Yeah, sound waste. I got 78 mid range shots, so put him at power forward. Oh my god, dude, this team is absolutely crazy. This team is bad, man. I mean, bad in a good way, like the, like the good kind of bad, right? So, Deion Waiters, Jimmy Buckets, LeBron James, Hassan Whiteside, uh, Rudy Gobert. We got Saric, Dwayne Wade, Inglis, Bam, and we got Jared Bayless all at the bench, guys. I'm thinking this team is no doubt a championship team. I'm thinking this team might actually be like a 70 plus win team if everything goes right out there. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate this final season and see just how good this LeBron James Miami Heat team can really do. Okay, so a record of 67 and 14, guys. Cleveland Cavaliers are somehow still the second best team in the Eastern Conference. Um, they got, who they got on their team? Isaiah Thomas, Kevin Love, Jay Crowder. Who knows, man? Maybe LeBron James is the issue of that team. JK, man, it's obviously not the case. But here we go. Simulate through date against the Cavaliers. And, well, we finished with two straight Ws against the second place team. LeBron James, MVP, guys, at 20 points, 9 rebounds, and almost, you know, 9 10 assists per game. Very efficient season. Scoring definitely way down, man. I mean, below 20 points per game, barely. RJ Barrett, Rudy Gay, uh, six man, DeAndre Jordan, defensive player, and Saidi Asman. <laughs> Most improved player with Eric Spolstra, the coach of the year. All-NBA first team, John Wall, Isaiah Thomas. There we go, man. LeBron James, Giannis, and Carl Anthony Towns. All-NBA second. Stephen Lonzo, Paul George, Kawhi, and Jokic will All-NBA third. I mean, there's no other. Where, where's Jimmy Buckets at, guys? He didn't make all-defensive teams, so that's good. All right, player stats on the season. Here we go. 
we got Jimmy Buckets at 20 points, uh, six rebounds, and about five, six assists per game. With again playing really good defense out there. LeBron James, you know his stats. Deion Waiters actually played really nice at the point guard position. I think the only reason that worked out is because we do have ball handlers and LeBron James and Jimmy Buckets. Uh, Sam Whiteside, great season. Sarich, 11 points out there, six rebounds. Uh, Rudy Gobert, I mean, he got two blocks, but realistically, man, like 11 points, nine rebounds. Kind of some basic stats out there. So definitely not too happy about that. But here we go, guys. Uh, we got the playoffs, Indiana Pacers, simulate current rounds. Oh, we better not. Oh, no, 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 man, no. <laughs> How did I lose in the first round of the freaking playoffs? Don't laugh at me, Charlie. That's my girlfriend. She's laughing at me. She's doing her homework. Am I distracting you? No. Well, I'm distracting myself. Bitch ass Ryan 2K is distracting me. Oh, my God. How did I... Carmelo, Oladipo, Carmelo, Oladipo, TJ Lefo, Miles Turner O, Bitch Ass So, Ronnie O. Oh my god, dude. I, lost. I cannot believe I lost in the freaking first round of the playoffs. 68 wins on the season. The whole season just ruined. And the Bitch Ass Warriors, guys, winning it all once again. Kevin Durant, don't look at me, man. Anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed the video, man. Be sure to drop that like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And peace out, my friend.